Mung Bean Cellular Respiration Lab Tutorial. Living organisms produce energy to survive and interact with the environment through a series of chemical reactions known as cellular respiration. During cellular respiration, glucose and oxygen are consumed to yield water, carbon dioxide, and ATP, the energy that fuels cell metabolism. Through this video, you will be able to visualize this process using mung beans, known by their Latin name of Vigna radiata. In this experiment, you will of course need mung beans, a metal ring stand, a glass tube chamber that looks very similar to a test tube, a 50 centimeter cubed graduated cylinder, a stock solution of 10% KOH, a Hagi respirometer, and cotton. To mark and measure the height of the solution on the respirometer, you will also need a marker and a ruler. Part 1. Overnight Bean Preparation Prepare 40 grams of mung beans in a container of your choosing. Add tap or distilled water to the container until the beans are completely submerged and there is no risk for the water level to drop below the beans overnight. Soak the beans overnight for a time frame you decide on. For this experiment, 20 hours was used. The seeds need time to absorb water and trigger metabolic activity within the seed. After the time period is passed, drain all the water from the container. Part 2 Experimental Setup Fix a holding clamp to the ring stand. Place the glass tube chamber in the clamp and carefully tighten it. Be careful not to break the tube. Using a graduated cylinder, measure 15 centimeters cubed of 10% KOH stock. Pour the KOH solution into the glass tube chamber. As beans respire, they take in oxygen from the environment and release carbon dioxide. However, the KOH solution will react with the carbon dioxide, eliminating it from the air in the tube. The decreasing volume of oxygen can then be measured by the Hagi respirometer. Put a small amount of cotton into the tube. The cotton is used to stop the mung beans from touching the KOH solution. The KOH could damage the seeds affecting the experiment. Please use a stirring rod to push down the cotton to near the bottom. Pour the pre-soaked mung beans into the tube. The mass of the mung beans can be of your choosing. In this experiment, we used roughly half or approximately 20 grams of mung beans. Fix the Hagi respirometer to the glass tube. Make sure the rubber stopper has a tight seal, but do not force it too hard as you could break the glass. Clip the rubber tubing using a clamp. Quickly, mark the starting point on the Hagi respirometer. A starting point needs to be marked as a reference of the starting level. Using a ruler, measure the height of the solution in the inner side of the respirometer. You may also find it convenient to tape a paper ruler directly to the Hagi respirometer tubing. Measure the height every five minutes, or an interval of your choosing. Record the results. You may stop when the liquid reaches a level you are satisfied with or a length of time that satisfies your experiment. Repeat this process at least five times. As a negative control, you can place non-soaked beans or beads of the same mass as your experimental trial. Note that the dependent variable is the distance the liquid is moving. This could be converted into a rate. You may also consider finding the diameter of the Hagi respirometer tubing and convert that into volume of oxygen for greater personal engagement. There are a number of independent variables you can use for this experiment. Some may include the time of soaking the beans, perhaps the pH or concentration of salt of the bean soak, or even perhaps placing the respirometer in a water bath to change the temperature.